Hey, Mr. Allen. Alright, so as I was on Facebook, I saw this uh, post that's going around. It was talking about how Madonna at 61 is dating a 25-year-old. Now, usually you don't see that. Usually you see the older man with a younger woman. But now it's an older woman with a younger man. Now, I don't see nothing wrong with it because from people I've known, things from the past, them older women will give you the business. They are about that life and you're not ready for it. Um, Pooh, you were telling me about a situation, kind of something that you had ran into. Oh, me and um, my best friend, Brittany. Hey, Britt. Hey, Britt. Um, we were, um, we went out and we had lunch. And it was a really pretty young lady in there. She walked in. We were at, um, we were at Red Lobsters. It had to be 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. So it wasn't crowded. It was just me and Brittany decided to sit at the bar. Um, so we can see everybody that comes in and um, we just so happened to be talking and I was turned around to look inside my purse um, and it was a really pretty girl that walked in she had to be no older than I mean 25 is pushing it she might have been 22 so she was walked, she walked in and she turned around and held the door and this guy walked in I was like oh that was nice of her the guy might have been 70. Oxygen tank, canyonless around his no, just oh, okay. I was like, that was nice of her. Me and Brent talked about it a few minutes like I was like, girl, when we was 25, we wasn't going down. You better catch the door. Just joking about it. So they're sitting waiting to be seated at the table. So if you ever have been to Red Lobsters, you know when you first come in, you're sitting and waiting for the hostess to come seat you. And the guy is sitting next to her. Okay, nothing crazy. But then he puts his arm around her and this girl, really pretty girl is looking disgusted. Like she's looking like, get away from me, you old creep. That's how she's looking. He's like rubbing on her and like kissing her. And she's like, get away from me. Like that's how she's looking. But she holds his hand and she's like trying to play it cool but you can tell she's she, uneasy she's not comfortable so as like after once they got seated um they're they're on to the bag and Britt was like um are we going after we get our check and stuff she's like we're going home go to the house well, what are we doing? I said, well, let's go to the bathroom real quick. And me and Britt, uh, we don't ever go like to the restroom, especially if it's just her and myself. Like, we usually don't go anywhere without our husbands. But if it's just me and her having, like, a little girl's day, we always go to the bathroom together. We stay together just for safety reasons. So we walk, we're walking towards the back, and we're going to the restroom. And <laughs> he's, she's, like, cutting up his food like he's old y'all he's real old and you, you could just tell she was like not feeling it but once me and Britt left the restaurant and we got in the car we knew she was doing this for money there's no other reason first of all she's a pretty black girl this guy's old with an oxygen tank and a caneless around his nose okay like you know you ain't here like feeling this man you're not you're just not. That's just. It's just not happening. Now, if he. Now, all that to say, if he was like a Madonna who was vibrant and could move around and still live life, that may be different. True. I know people who like people who are older, and that 50 year difference ain't a big deal to them. At all. It's not. But you have to be able to live your life. This is not her grandfather. Not the way he was trying to kiss on her, rubbing her. Like, he was really trying to get some. And if he wasn't, she was on that date, and she wanted that money. Like, it, it was just very, it was, Britt and I laughed afterwards, because it was kind of funny, but we was like, girl, you could 
it too bad. And you know what that look was, to be honest with you? Now, back when we were a little bit younger, was well, five year age between us, which isn't much. But when we were younger coming up, you had people that would mess with these older guys and they couldn't do nothing. That time was over. Oh, ho, ho. No, thanks to Viagra yeah, and Silas. Oh, they, they earned that money. So that's what that looking yeah. discuss is because she know. Absolutely. Oh, she's going to have to earn this money. Yeah. She's going to get some money, but she's going to work for all of it. When I say yeah. work, and I hope he working her for everything. If you dare to get that money, you, I hope he making her work for it because that's messed up to do somebody. But y'all both get what y'all want from each other. Okay, don't look disgusted. This is what you wanted. Well, here's my thing with that. Me and Brittany were talking about it. And back in our younger days, especially when we were out there before we were married, of course, and before children and things like that, you know, it, it was nothing to, you know, see that kind of stuff happening. But like you said, it it wasn't the same. It's just mm -hmm. not you the same. You're a hug and a kiss. Correct. Or just some conversation. Rub you that can, back. That's it. I, I mean. No, you're going to get to do the whole deal now. But anyway, I found out by uh, Viagra and that stuff. By ear hustling some older uh, people in my family and heard some stuff that they had going on. And yeah, uh, heard some stuff about their friends that popped one. Yeah, man, I didn't need to hear that. But yeah, all I had to say, these girls, they're going to have to, they're working for it. Now, on the flip side, I knew a guy I worked security with that had uh, messed with this lady that was a little bit older. I want to say I was about 22. And oh boy, let's say his name was Ned. Ned was about 20. I wonder how do you get these names? Well, I'm not going to say the people. Well, people I know, but... Well, I'm just going to go Ned. Anyway, yeah, so Ned... Not John, not Al. I'm going Ned, baby. Okay. So Ned was uh, messing with this lady at the job flirt with her. And come to find out, you know, they started kicking it. Now, if I'm 22, he's 20. Uh, I'm going to say her name's Francine. Francine is like... 48. Now, Ned's talking to me. He's like, man, you know, yeah, she still kind of fly for age. She wasn't a bad looking lady, older black lady, not at all. But, you know, a little bit older. So at that point, we used to, you know, talking to women our age. He says that, you know, they go the first time at it. He's like, oh man, she was, she was with it. She was doing something. Oh, like, she's with it, like older. Fast forward three weeks into this thing. He's ducking and dodging her. Can't keep up. She's wearing that ass out. She <laughs> is wearing... She is like, look, I pay you not to go in. I got an off day today. You take day off. I pay you what they pay you. Just come yeah, over here and give me some like, of that. He can't even perform because you're wearing his ass out. She is... She, he said, hey, man, that thing is true. With the ladies on our job, we're talking about when you're a cougar and you get that second win at mid-40s into the 50s. She told him that this had started maybe about nine months prior to them meeting. Oh, she was wearing him out. He was literally at the job with his head down like, what happened? He said, I went over her house. She wore me out. I ain't never had nobody make, have a drink for me, beat me down, and then wake me up with food and try to beat me down again. He's like, I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, because she's older, so she got that, that, that thing about it where she's like, look, I'm going to take care of you kind of thing. She, but you gonna he get, couldn't you gonna do get it. this pussy. He was like, I can't. <laughs> it was hilarious. I was laughing at him. He said, this ain't funny. He's like, I'm running from a grown woman. Yeah, she grown. And he was like, I'm going to have to tell. He's like, and I guess the comment that it got back to his mom, and she, his mom was laughing. Like, oh, she giving you everything you want, huh? I'm trying to tell you. Hey. Hey, so, so it goes both ways. I don't see nothing wrong with it. If, you know, two consent adults, you know, like my wife said, if you're vibrant, hey. That Madonna thing, I think she it vibrant. is what it is. Yeah, but that thing that I saw at the restaurant, nah. That's the difference between attraction and feeling somebody and falling in love with somebody where you just try to be opportunistic. So for every time I, I see somebody that's no love involved, that's what I'm saying. I said that's yeah, different. You being opportunistic, you ain't trying to really date him. You want his money. You hoping he kick yeah. and leave you something. So I think in those situations, I hope them men wear them out. And if it's a guy doing it, because some guys doing it too. Yeah, you hope he pop a Viagra and break her ass down. No, I hope that she wears him out. If it's an older lady trying to get play, the, the young guys trying to use her for her money and stuff. Oh, no, I'm I hope they get worn the out. Girl. Oh yeah, I hope he's breaking her down. I'm hoping he is. I'm hoping he has oxygen pumped into that room, 
that he has like a stirrup like, or something to like, hold like, him in. Like like what baby? the what? Room. What is that? That's a popping into the room. The room. Whatever. I'm sorry. And I hope what they wear them say dark. Okay, say dark. Keep going with the story. Dark. <laughs> yeah, don't make fun of me. Whatever. I'm not from here. Anyway. I say he should be wearing wearing that thing out. Because clearly that's not cool, but I'm not here to judge. So I hope if you're getting everything out, I hope that that man's paying you X amount of money, he's getting X amount of money out you. Anyway, out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, push that like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you soon.